welcome to a few webinar session on smart energy efficient humidifiers. The desire for human beings to become alpha species on Earth actually has forced him to develop himself. And therefore, from monkey days, innovation, research, and development is happening. Right from the olden days when we used to use stones and fire and invention of wheel was happening. The first industrial revolution came in 18th century in Britain when um, the first industrial revolution helped uh, people uh, enabling you know, mass production by using water and steam. The second industrial revolution came uh, probably a century later, wherein the uh, 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 people were talking about line assemblies and you know use of oil, gas, and electric power. Third uh, industrial revolution, you know, when ha it happened in 20th century uh, with the added computers advanced telecommunication, data analysis, manufacturing processes, people uh, go for digitization of factories uh, and begin by embedding programmable logic controllers into machinery to help automate some processes and collect shared data. Now is the fourth industrial revolution time when uh, we are now in an era uh, which is also referred as industry four which is characterized by increasing automation and the employment of smart factories, well informed by data to produce goods more efficiently and more productively. Industry four is a revolution, uh, the way companies manufacture, improve and distribute their products. Today companies are uh, basically accelerating their industry four journey across production lines with three objectives in mind. First is the performance diagnostics. Second is the operational strategy. And third is the artificial intelligence solutions to deliver new product faster. You know, in these days, some of the management management gurus says that the major challenge these days industry is uh, facing is the artificial intelligence and natural stupidity. We do not have any solution for natural stupidity, but definitely we would like to be part of artificial intelligence by our innovating technologies. Second uh, thing companies uh, are focusing on an improved productivity and cost uh, saving across manufacturing processes by developing smart factories. And desire to manage and monitor assets by critically applying predictive maintenance where it's most needed in the production processes. So these are three major objectives uh, in mind. Keeping these things in mind, you know, we thought of innovating our product, developing our product, which are, uh, you know, uh, industry four related, uh, which can be used in industry four related factories and can help factories to take informed decisions by data mining. Now, uh, the question is how this can be applied to dehumidifiers. We need to be keeping in mind that all dehumidifiers are designed to meet peak load conditions. But most applications have considerably uh, off-peak hours throughout the years. The weather is not same throughout the years in most of the places. While the room conditions to be maintained remain more or less constant and the environment changes. The third thing is, this is the dynamic and needs a dynamic system. And with the robust algorithm and a lot of R&D uh, uh, in place, we have come out with the future of dehumidifiers. So, Shil, yes, please, please continue. Okay, thank you, sir, thank you. And uh, I would like to welcome all uh, participants who spared their valuable time to, to understand what is new is going on in dehumidification technology. So this is the new innovation which happens. And uh, as explained in the video and previous slides also, in this, we have tried to club the intelligence along with the sensors. And we have tried to align the performance of the dehumidifier with the, the real-time environmental conditions present at that point of time. And a combination of all these conditions and intelligence which is building the dehumidifier gives ultimate result in the terms of energy saving. So I will quickly talk about again in few slides 
how this machine works and uh, and by using uh, different kind of uh, inputs and technologies how this machine is finally delivering energy efficiency to the users so as you all know uh, these are engineered machines the machine which i have shown in uh, previous slide that was an engineered machine engineered machines comprises three parts uh, pre dehumidification section which is a combination of uh, pre coil along with the pre filtration then there is a dehumidification unit in between and post dehumidifier section which is primarily the the process fan along with uh, heating coil or cooling coil as per the process requirement and fine filtration these three units combine together and it become one complete engineering unit in this unit in the super bright smart series we have inserted a different different sensors at the different different point to to take the real time conditions and all these sensors give that data input to one software which is the control algorithm and certain algorithms are pre designed on the basis of our research and development facilities and these conditions accordingly take their own decisions so if the moisture load in a machine in an environment is less so automatically this machine will sense that and it do the readjustment re between the bypass air which goes below the rotor and the process air which goes through the rotor so this variation happens within the machine with the help of the control algorithm and accordingly the heat input required at a reactivation area and the air flow which needs to be passed through the rotor is managed and all these combinations actually load the machines in align with the load requirement in the air at that point of time so it's a real machine load increases the moisture load increases the accordingly the heat congestion of the electricity of the unit will increase the load in the moisture load in the air will reduce according machine align himself and the ultimate uh, consumption electricity consumption or a steam consumption of machine will also reduce and these basically happening happens with the modulation of reactive flow and heat source on real time basis how it has happened inside the machine that is primarily because of two patented technologies by brier first is the brier smart technology and second is the brier therm technology so we are not only aligning the the reactivation air or process air we are actually controlling the speed of the rotor also that is also plays a very important role and we are using new generation uh, rotor specially devised for these uh, application in these machines which are not present is any other dehumidifier right now and a combination of bright smart technology brightham technology and a new rotor designed for uh, these conditions help a machine to deliver the dynamic specific performance here the dynamic specific performance means continuously sensing monitoring and accordingly machine is adjusting their own internal functions so these machines does not work on a on a constant control mechanism that is how generally happens in the industry right now there are two and three modes are available but in this machine speaks their own dynamic specific performance based on the real time conditions and we also introduce a brier prognos this is like a predictive maintenance tools which gives a pre intimation of the condition of the internal components of a machine so that you can align yourself you can do the continuous diagnosis and then you can plan your inventories and your downtime accordingly so you know when you should take the machine under maintenance and you know what is the current health of your machine ultimate advantage is which we have observed in the field this machine can deliver up to 48% energy saving depending on the process air flow and the place where you are installing it it gives you a very fast return on investment which ultimately gives you a lowest cost of ownership and aesthetically these are very rigid and designed for a longer life these are the certain patents which we got from the different countries like from us from south africa australia south korea canada mexico china uh, just to share with you all i put uh, one patent here that was usa and as mentioned in the video you can control these machines remotely also 
So entire data and certain controls are available on iOS based devices or Android based devices. You can actually see the entire data on your device and you can uh, give certain commands to the dehumidifier also. So the remote monitoring of these machines are also possible. Generally a question comes, what is the basis of energy savings? So we have developed a payback calculator also, so that if you have any requirement or you are planning a budget for your new upcoming requirements, uh, Briar engineers can come sit with you, understand the all parameters and can share a ROI calculator with you. In that you can actually see how much time the machine will take to get a return on, uh, to, to, uh, uh, to get back you your investments, and after that, there will be a continuous saving delivered by this machine till the lifetime of that asset. So here we have picked up one case uh, that is a Kurukshetra that is near to Delhi. And why the place is very important because we use the bin data available for that particular area because machine is going to be performed on real time conditions. So we collect the data, real time data as recorded by bin data and use that data for doing our calculations. So this is a machine. Uh, we have put two numbers, which is our current machine prices you will get, and the BBS series. Here you, you can see there are two prices, 18.2 lakhs and 22.9 lakhs. So there is a difference of almost uh, four lakh, four and a half lakh between two machines. Then we have condition, we have included the chiller uh, requirements also. This uh, ROI has been done on the basis of electrical cost. We can do it on steam also. So we have taken seven rupees per kilowatt as the cost of uh, electricity, right? And uh, we, we do a carbon credit cost also, if that is important for your organization and you take a, uh, a rebate of carbon credits also. Number of shifts we have taken two, number of working days we have considered 300. And after running this payback calculator, you can see on your right hand side, the box A, the annual energy baseline means the standard machine, total unit consumption in year that is coming 3,28,729. These are the expected units to be consumed, consumed by that unit in a year. While after using the BBS machine, your consumption will be approximately 1,42,578. You can see the direct difference, almost more than 50% less consumption of energy. And if I translate that less uh, unit consumed by BBS series, multiplied by seven, the total saving in the first year is coming 13 lakhs. That's the saving which this machine will give you in the first year of operation. And if I compare the difference which you are paying right now against 18.2 lakh of current machine versus 22.9 lakh of VBS, this entire difference value will be saved within a span of 4.3 months. And you can easily see the entire machine ROI you can, you can get in a very small span of time. So we have illustrated these numbers in a graphical presentation also. On a first chart on left hand side is a electrical energy saving in annual in terms of the kilowatt hour. So first uh, blue one is the baseline, the current units. Second one is the BBS units. And the third green line is the actual energy saved by this machine in the first year of operation. If you go down, then we have created a payback analysis chart also. So you can see actually the top is the, is the BBS series and uh, the next line before the top line is the current price which generally you pay when you are uh, buying a new machines. And the last green line is the difference, the additional amount which you have to pay to purchase a BBS machine. So as I shared upwards, between 4.3 months, that money uh, will be saved by the BBS machine. And entire money which you will spend on BBS will be returned within the period of 21 months. So within the period of 20 month machine, 21 months, this machine will return its capital investment. And after that, whatever energy this machine is saving, that will be the add-on benefit to the company. 
Uh, that was the last slide which uh, I was supposed to present. Now I request uh, uh, Mr. Raghunath, who yeah. is based at our Chennai office, and he is the AVP for uh, Southern Market. Uh, Raghu will take us through applications. Yes, sir. Thank you for your introduction. And uh, I once again welcome all. And uh, now uh, we understand about what is the benefit of BBS series and the power uh, savings with uh, the technology design based technology and uh, when we see uh, any uh, design based technology and how this design based technology will helps in particular application uh, today we are talking more about uh, food processing as well as a pharma application and uh, few application in food industry uh, on the main part is drying production and packing and storage these are the main application where they need to maintain low humidity. Even in drying, uh, we can uh, segregate into uh, different uh, segment or different applications like uh, uh, gelatin drying, cocoa, coffee drying, seed drying, and cardamom drying. These are the few uh, application where we are using a desiccant-based dehumidifier for drying application. And for production like coffee, um, milk powder, where the highly hygrosopic uh, powder where they need to maintain certain low humidity. And these are the, some production where uh, design based technology can help them. And uh, a major problem using this. And for packing, there are some few process where uh, design based dehumidification were used for uh, packing uh, spices and energy food packing and freezed dry foods. These are the some small examples where uh, low humidity requirement and designated based technology can be used for food industry. And uh, particularly on the storage, uh, where storage is a very, very important on the finished goods like uh, sugar, yeast and seeds, and uh, even onion storage also record uh, designated based technology to maintain low humidity. This all applications where they need to maintain low humidity to enhance the quality as well as uh, life of product. So some of the problem during a coating, basically during a coating process, moisture is the biggest problem. And due to that, uh, high humidity causes in coating application, poor coating quality and the cracks in uh, coating and uh, sticky while coating. Actually, these are the problem we were facing uh, during coating application. So for that, with our global experience and uh, wherever we have supplied the designed based technology, we were giving a solution by providing a dry air at 20% relative humidity and 20 to 22 degrees centigrade temperature in the coating pan. So these are the parameters which has come from the global experience. And by using this particular dry air condition, the coating process where we can remove the moisture and uh, a coating process can take place without any uh, sticky problem or uh, cracks problem. So uh, even in the packing area, uh, so whatever we said, like uh, snacks, uh, vapors, and chips, uh, when the finished uh, goods was ready, and the low to maintain the low humidity is the biggest uh, challenges. And to maintain low humidity, you know, uh, we need to spend uh, like high energy efficiency design type. Where when we are talking about super price smart series, which gives more energy, that uh, gives more power savings. Where you need to maintain 35 to 45 percent relative humidity at 25 degrees centigrade. So we have a design based technology product for the packing industry in food applications, and even you can uh, reduce or increase the shelf life and increase uh, the uh, downtime of uh, packing uh, time and by using a low humidity uh, application. That means low humidity technology, design based technology. And one of the unique application which they are, uh, we are getting a more benefit like increasing uh, the productivity uh, in food application is the spray dryer application. So generally in spray dryer, the process is like they are taking a ambient air, fresh air, and they will be heating the air at a certain temperature and they are supplying the hot air inside the spray dryer and they are changing the property from the liquid to the powder formation. And uh, when you are introducing a desiccant based technology or desiccant dehumidifier, uh, instead of sending a hot air, combination of dry air with hot air, we can be able to increase the productivity. And with our experience and uh, the spray dryer, 
in the food application, they were record the condition like 20% RH and they need to maintain 30 to 40 degree as a supplier condition of design and dehumidifier. And though this is the fresh air, completely once through requirement, when we talk about the super bright smart series, which is running as per the ambient condition, uh, and uh, you know that in ambient, we have the high moisture. So when we are talking about super bright smart series, uh, the moisture level and the machine operate as per the ambient condition and as per your process requirement will give more saving. And when you are going with the super bright smart series, we will get more benefit in the spray dryer application. Uh, same, uh, it's like a same similar uh, fluidus bed also. Actually here, uh, there are various stages which needed a lot of, uh, they were using a hot airs in various stages. And uh, even uh, we supplied our dehumidifiers uh, for the fluidus bed dryer at the condition of 20% RH and by maintaining the temperature of 20 to 40 de 24 degrees centigrade and just to increase the self life and stickiness. And uh, these are like the indirect benefit to the application where they can increase the productivity. And uh, one of the unique application uh, on the drying Basically, uh, desiccant type dehumidifier is mainly used for or uh, which will give a more benefit on the seed drying application and uh, the major humidity uh, causes like major problem they are facing is like a loss of germination uh, process in the seed drying in the seed storage. So uh, by using a desiccant type dehumidifier uh, by removing the moisture from the air and the dry air uh, uh, will take care of the core moisture from the any seed and at low humidity of 5%, we are able to maintain or we are able to uh, dry the seed at uniform drying and uh, which can help us the consistency uh, in the seed drying actually. And uh, that seed drying, they need to maintain the temperature at ambient temperature. So our combination of desiccant the dehumidifier will help to maintain the ambient with respect to low humidity. And some of the process, production and process industry, they were using a low humidity desiccant based technology and few of the related humidity condition, which we have shown here. And for all the chocolate industry, mainly like a tunnel application, uh, they were using and uh, the causes they are facing like uh, sweating in the tunnel due to the high humidity and uh, high humidity leading in uh, fluidity of the chocolate actually. So that before packing, we need to maintain low humidity to avoid the sweating as well as the fluidity of the chocolate. So we given a solution by maintaining a relative humidity of 50 to 55 percent RH at 18 degrees centigrade for coating application and 30 to 40 percent RH at 21 to 24 degree temperature for chocolate packing application and for chocolate storage, we are maintaining 50% RH at 20 degrees centigrade. These are the various parameters where Briar has supplied our demodification system for the various food process, chocolate uh, production, and as well as process industry. Uh, and uh, the main, uh, one of the uh, highly hygroscopic product in the food industry is the milk powder. And they, uh, uh, due to the high humidity, the causes is lumping, reducing the self like and spoilage of the uh, milk powder is the major causes. And to avoid this causes, uh, we provide a solution, designated based dehumidification solution by uh, supplying the machine at, and to maintain the condition of 20% RH at 20 to 25 degrees centigrade. And uh, all the packing area, uh, they need to maintain low humidity. And when uh, any food application, they need to take care of certain fresh air as well as uh, they need to take care of recirculation. So our super bright smart series, which work as per the energy efficiency, as per the ambient, as well as the room condition, will help for all the packing area in the food industry in high energy efficiency. And uh, this particular new technology will help more on energy for the food packing industry. So similar way, we also supplied a desiccant based dehumidifier for energy uh, food product. And uh, we, are, uh, we have supplied our machine uh, to maintain 40 to 45% relative humidity at 25 degrees centigrade. And uh, as uh, energy food product is uh, all are highly hygroscopic in nature, and due to the high humidity, they will find they are facing a lot of sticking uh, problem, downtime uh, increase, and decomposition. So to avoid that, we supplied our desiccant based dehumidifier for this application. And similar way, uh, storage of biscuit and chocolate, uh, sorry, cookies. 
we supplied desiccant based dehumidifier where the condition they need to maintain 35 plus or minus 5 at ambient condition this particular storage and all it's not really a big challenge to maintain low temperature but at ambient temperature they can maintain at 35 percent rh and uh, briar we supplied our dehumidification for this uh, storage application so uh, some of the application in pharma for a desiccant based technology by using a desiccant based technology so uh, in commonly application area in pharma industry we uh, we segregate into four process one is processing manufacturing and uh, storage and packing and research and testing these are the common uh, uh, four uh, common application in pharma industry and we are we are taking care of all these four applications in pharma industry mainly in pharma it's all very very critical application where due to that moisture and humidity causes some of the moisture and uh, humidity causes are moisture regain hygroscopic material deterioration impure product accuracy and uniformity in formulation biochemical reaction activities injurious activity of microorganic so these are the uh, causes in pharma industry and to take care of these causes by uh, low or high humidity we have supplied a, a desiccant based technology for pharma industry next slide sir. and uh, application in process so as i explained the process uh, we yeah, have yeah, yeah, so application in the process uh, like a powder milling, grand grand tablet coating and compression and processing of tablet. These are the few uh, uh, process application which required to maintain low humidity. And uh, for that, we have supplied our desiccant based technology and uh, some of the application in manufacturing area like uh, uh, soft gel gelatin, capsule uh, drying and uh, processing of dry injection and cups uh, drops uh, manufacturing. Uh, pencil in uh, manufacturing these are the manufacturing area where they need to maintain or it's a basic uh, manufacturing area in the pharmaceutical uh, uh, industry and some of the storage area in pharmaceutical industry is uh, like a powder storage capsule storage and aluminium foil storage these are the like a raw material storage which is uh, used for the processing of uh, pharmaceutical industry and application in uh, packing area like a dry and powder viral filling and the strips packing, basic uh, drug packing area. These are the basic uh, packing area uh, in the pharma industry. And uh, another clavy uh, manufacturing. So this is the one of the uh, highly sensitive material uh, which is uh, with the high effective towards the moisture. So this particular uh, process manufacturing, we need to maintain very, very low humidity and uh, due to the causes the de integration of tablet decomposition of formulation and which is a uh, uh, shorter uh, self life these are the causes and we have given a solution by maintaining relative humidity 15 plus or minus 5 at 18 degree low temperature and uh, we have supplied a desiccant based uh, dehumidifier for this application some of the dry powders uh, see uh, the causes by high humidity is ambers air being and filling operation actually these are the difficulty they always face the challenges during the uh, dry powder filling powder sticks and crusted towards in the conveyor and wastage due to that the wastage and production loss so uh, to maintain or to avoid these causes we have supplied a desiccant based dehumidifier uh, at condition of 20 plus or minus 5 at 25 degrees centigrade and uh, uh, Briar has supplied this uh, demodification for this dry powder application also. Diagnostic heat manufacturing. This is the most uh, complicated and uh, uh, highly uh, important area where they need to maintain certain condition because this is a, the, like a uh, used for a test result. And uh, if the high humidity causes no inaccuracy of test result will impact on our product as well as the bad name of our company also. So for that, they need to maintain the low humidity and Briar has supplied uh, low humidity to maintain condition of 15% RH at 22 degrees centigrade uh, for both manufacturing and assembly area. Neutralist, uh, nutritional manufacturing. 
see this is also like some of the pharmaceutical application where we we given a solution by supplying a demodification to maintain 50 to 15 to 30% rh at 22 to 25 degree centigrade see uh, uh, when we are talk about uh, nutritional uh, uh, product this is basically a highly hygroscopic herbal product like uh, uh, when you are not maintaining any low, low humidity there you will find a lot of lump lumping and uh, abjuration actually when the powder is been used actually you need to maintain a free flow powder during a conveying application if the low humidity is not maintained and you will find lot of stickiness and will impact on the production flow uh, so we supply we we provided solution uh, uh, to maintain uh, low humidity at 15 to 30 percent rh and we supplied the demodification for uh, nutritional manufacturing area so one of the uh, tablet manufacturing these are some of the few example where we uh, supplied a demodification and causes loss of product uh, product quality and surface finishing will reduce tablet sticking to the machines these are the causes by high humidity and solution we supplied a desiccant based humidifier at 15% plus or minus 5 rh and uh, temperature at 22 degree centigrade uh, this is uh, one of the unique uh, critical application in pharmaceutical as like a soft gel capsule manufacturing and soft gel drying and uh, briar can proudly says that it's a very very complicated critical application where uh, uh, for drying and processing you need to maintain 15% uh, rh at 20 degree centigrade and uh, we have supplied a 100 number of uh, demodification system for the soft gel drying application desiccant based and uh, when we are talking about any application normally even food and pharma for any low humidity when the low humidity record comes you need to spend lot of energy on the demodification system and a lot of energy on reactivation so when we are talking about the super price smart series which work on high efficiency uh, as per the ambient and as per the retain air condition and when any low humidity comes the super price smart series will helps to reduce the energy on the reactivation and gives more uh, power savings benefit and as well as uh, uh, as you know that um, we already launched and this type of machine we already supplied in the market and uh, we are there uh, to serve for uh, any low humidity application by uh, super dry smart series and uh, some of uh, few uh, uh, application other than pharma and food uh, some unique application uh, i just want to share you like uh, other than food and pharma application we also supplied a desiccant based dehumidifier for satellite launching pad and for various clean room application low humidity clean room application and we also supplied desiccant based dehumidifier for a tire industry for clean room application and then we also supplied a desiccant based dehumidifier for glass lamination area and glass storage area so when we talk about uh, as mr vijay choudhury was talking about low humidity or desiccant based dehumidifier we touch all the application uh from uh, morning to evening whatever the product we were using we were supplied all our uh, desiccant based humidifier for various application from food medical uh, process industry automobile industry and uh, tire industry and then uh, of course we were there in all application and uh, thank you for your timing and any question regarding a super price smart series or bytom technology please uh, welcome to Yeah, yeah, question and we can answer for it. Yeah, thanks, Raghu. Yeah, so I've I've seen a question in the uh, message box. It says, "Can you give some example along with unit kilowatt capacity versus how energy it will be saved if we run twenty four into seven?" So the clear answer is that payback calculator. Uh, because generally, often in the industry, what I've seen the the people do a very common mistake. uh the total load of the machine they translate that load immediately on the energy consumption likely over a period of time but in the case of bbs uh machine is run going to run on a full load only in peak load conditions and we which exist for few hours if you go and see the bin data of any area 
you will realize the peak load condition exists for only few hours in a year not not even a month so that is the only time when machine is going to run on a on a on a full load the rated load rest of the time machine will run under lower load aligned with the actual moisture load present in the air and if you need any further details i request please uh, call a braier representative he will come do calculations for your area and he will share the the final roi calculations with you. I, i request you can put your questions uh, either in a chat box uh, i'm getting certain like can we get the catalog for updated versions yes definitely you can get it uh uh sooner there will be full technical catalog will be available for these machines and that you can uh, get it from uh, uh, your local representative of prayer uh vijay sir uh, uh, would like to say something to end the session sir because i'm not seeing any further questions yeah so, i think guys uh, first of all thanks for your uh, patient hearing uh, to all of us uh let me assure you that this is a product which would change the uh game in the industry of dehumidifiers one can take um, the informed decisions once you will have all the data mining and you know it can uh, adjust itself it's an intelligent machine which can adjust itself keeping in view the outside atmosphere uh you know ambient conditions so uh i would look forward for uh you know if you guys have any inquiry or requirement please ask for uh briar bright smart uh, equipment from our people um and we would be very happy to serve you with this new version of uh, uh, dehumidifiers thanks a lot to everybody if any question is there Uh, you can always email it to us uh, we would be very happy to answer to you thank you very much